frame-to-frame -frame relations. Take a look at the following sentence. We all exit the room slowly. The lexical unit exit in this sentence evokes the departing frame. This frame is defined as an object, the theme, moves away from a source. Accessing this frame means necessarily having access to other related frames such as motion. Departing can only be understood if you consider some motion action. Moreover, departing is an action that happens before arriving. Other more specific frames, such as escaping, require the departing frame to be defined. It happens because, as you've probably noticed, FrameNet is a large network of related concepts, as suggested by its name. Lexical units have their meaning based on the relation with other words in the frames they evoke. And frames are related with other frames. In this sense, it is expected that each frame has at least one relation to some other frame. Let's see how the frame-to-frame -frame relations work. The inheritance relation holds between a more specific frame that is taken as a subtype of a more general one. It means that each frame element, frame relation and semantic fact in the parent frame must correspond to an equally specific or more specific match in the child. A good example is the apply heat frame. It inherits from the intentionally affect frame. While the frame elements have different names, agent in intentionally affect versus cook in apply heat, all of the frame elements in intentionally affect correspond closely in type and relation to frame elements in the apply heat frame. A subframe characterizes a different part of a complex concept which has well-defined subparts. It can be described in terms of states of affairs or temporal sequences and has sufficient particularities to be described in a different frame. It is common for frame elements to refer to the parent frame, but this is not a requirement. Take a look at the visiting scenario frame. It has subframes which describe each part of the event, such as the arrival, the stay, and the departure. Precedes. When the sub-events are organized in a prototypical sequence, the frames are related through precedence. Employment start, employment continue, and employment end are a good example. They are subframes of employment scenario. We know that these events tend to follow a chronological order, the beginning of a job, the performance of the employee in a certain position, and the end of the contract. The using relation occurs when one frame refers to one more abstract frame. In order to understand the first, it is necessary to have the later as a background. The path traveled frame illustrates this relation. The frame uses the motion frame, which means that it is not possible to structure a frame that deals with the path taken without having prior knowledge of the idea of motion. Unlike the inheritance relation, only some of the frame elements in the parent frame match those in the child frame. Perspective on Frames in this relation take different perspectives on a non-perspectivized frame. An example is the employer's scenario frame. It reflects the perspective of the person offering a job, while the employee's scenario frame profiles the employee. Both are perspectives on the employment scenario frame. The causative of and incoative of relations model static causative and incoative alternations of predicates. Take this sentence as an example. The sun dried the clothes I washed yesterday. The clothes I washed yesterday dried. The clothes I washed yesterday are dry. All of them refer to a situation in which some clothes are perceived as being dry. However, they differ in the way they conceptualize the situation. 
In the first, there is an explicit external cause, the sun. In the second, the clothes undergo a process. And, in the third, the current state is focused. In this last sentence, dry evokes the being dry frame, whose causative alternation is caused to be dry and whose incoative version is becoming dry. Causative frames inherit from the transitive action frame, incoative frames inherit from event, and stative frames inherit from state or gradable attributes. Frame-to-frame -frame relations are a key aspect of the frame creation process, since the net-like configuration of FrameNet provides relevant information on each system of concepts model in the database.